girl, she be mine, mine on level. Fit it on level, say she be mine, mine on level. Say fit it on level, say she be mine, mine on level. Fit it on level, say she be mine, mine on level. Say fit it on level. Hey guys, it's Angli and welcome back to my channel. As you can already see, we are getting ready for a vacation today. You guys already saw me get my lashes and my hair done. I wanted this vlogging process to be really easy because I feel like if you vlog, you know that when you do vlog your daily activities, it kind of makes doing them a little more of a hassle. So I just wanted to get my lashes and my hair done already to get it out of the way. So as you guys can tell, I am going on vacation. I am going on an anniversary trip. This is me and my boyfriend's second day your anniversary so i can finally tell you guys where i'm going since i'm doing like my vacation prep vlog and i'll already be there by the time you guys see this video i am going to bali i'm going to bali indonesia i'm so excited i'm a little bit nervous for the flight but i need to get some melatonin or something for it yesterday and today i've been doing my like vacation errands like my lashes nails but let me talk about my hair and my lashes really quickly i cannot stop touching my hair since getting it done i haven't done a short look like this in forever so i was like let me try it out for vacay you guys saw my stylist the b look her name is alma she is so sweet the actual unit from the install is from ali pearl hair literally so freaking bomb this hair took to dye really well we went for a jet black color you guys know when i do my installs i like jet black just because it makes it stand out more and the body wave is actually body waving it's so bomb like this holds the curl really well it's really soft really fluffy and that's exactly the look that i was going for something kind of like soft natural and like sweet so the hair goes to like about right here on me i'm actually loving this cut so this is a 13 by 4 hd frontal unit and this was 18 inches originally and I think believe it's either 200% density or 250% density I kind of wanted it a little bit fuller because it's body wave I'm gonna keep it curled I like that fluffy look so she really had good things to say about this hair and Ali Pearl as a brand she she feels like when her clients bring her hair from Ali Pearl it's usually always good and this is my first time working with them for a little bit I've worked with them previously and I really like their hair I feel like they're like a go-to spot when you're unsure of which brand to try try out Ali Pearl so thank you so much to 
Ali Pro for sending me this here and sponsoring this video. I'm so excited to rock this here on the trip. If you guys are interested in seeing more of how this hair holds up, make sure to stay tuned for my vacation vlog. Just stay tuned for the vacation vlog. Anyway, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Thumbs up this video so I end up in your recommendations. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram. Let me take off my glasses for you guys so you guys can see my lashes. Michaela did my lashes. I didn't get to talk to you guys about them yet because it was yesterday and I was rushing for my hair appointment this morning. Absolutely in love with my lashes. They are fuller than what I'm used to. She said I should probably get used to it in two days. But because I went short, like I'm not like looking at my face like, oh my God, OMG. Like I have in an eight to 13 mixed slash hybrid set. I cannot wait to see what I look like with like makeup on because since my lashes are fuller, they feel like they're actually gonna like stand out a little bit in pictures versus like the natural lash that I usually go to. You can't really tell. So I'm really excited for my trip. I finally, I feel so like put together already. I still need to get my nails done, but as you guys can see, they are not that bad. You guys literally saw me. I got my nails done like a week in a couple days ago, but because my trip is actually on Wednesday and today is Monday, I only have time to get this done here because I'm flying to New York tomorrow, Tuesday morning because our flight leaves out of New York on Wednesday. So I didn't want to get there the day I'm leaving, go to his house, go back to the airport. That's gonna be too much of a hassle. So I'm giving myself a day to be in New York before we fly out. I'm about to head to Target right now. I need to pick up Michael's gift. I have quite a few things to do today. The mall closes at seven. I think the nail place might close at seven or eight, but basically I want to be done with most of these things by eight well the things that i need to do like buying stuff so i can show you guys all my pieces that i got to go on vacation well the new stuff anyway so make sure you guys stay tuned for this video if you're watching right now make sure you watch to the end because i'm going to be doing a collective vacation haul in this vlog i need to pick up my baby a gift i'm actually really excited i looked it up online and they said they have it in stock so i'm about to head over there right now let's cut the bullshit okay every second every minute man i swear that she can get it every second every minute man i swear that she can get it every second every all right guys so i'm in the i don't know why i just had my neck like that all bent and stuff i'm in the target parking lot and this is like a upstairs downstairs target it's pretty cool but i just wanted to show you guys the gift that i got my boyfriend um, he will not be watching this vlog. People always ask me, you always show your the gifts that you're getting him. Doesn't he watch your videos? Yeah, but we watch my videos together. So I make sure that he doesn't do that when I have a surprise for him in here. I got him the Oculus Quest 2. This is a virtual reality headset. Yeah, I'm actually pretty excited. I'm excited for myself too just because like I also get to use it. I couldn't think of what to get him because I always get Michael's stuff like not as gifts but like just stuff that he needs like basically whenever i go to visit him in december christmas and then his birthday is in january and then our anniversary is in march so like i'm already like getting him like gifts gifts every like there's only like a month break where i'm not getting him anything so, and i gave him a lot for christmas and his birthday so i didn't really know what to get i didn't want to do cologne i feel like cologne is always a go-to when you're unsure of what to get so i opted for this because if you guys don't know michael is an investment banker that goes with like finance and then he's also into crypto and like virtual reality like online things he's was he's been talking to me about the new thing that somebody's i don't know if jeff bezos is creating it or somebody's creating it it's like a not the world is going to be virtual but there's going to be a virtual world that they are like creating right now you guys already know like with nfts that kind of like online currency and all of that kind of like all that kind of stuff combined so i opted for this this is the oculus 2 i don't know anything about it so if you ask me something about it i had to watch a youtube video just to see if i needed any other outside things because they were a bunch of different accessories you can buy for it but according to that youtube video like you can just use it as standalone and i think you have to hook it up to a computer and download stuff so hopefully this will fit in my suitcase i really want to give it to him in bali but because our anniversary isn't until the 28th of march but i don't know we'll see I could open it up, but I don't want to do that. I really like the box. I really want him to be able to just open it up and be like, wow. Because he's not going to be able to guess what this is. I don't think he would think that I'd get him anything. I don't think he'd think that I'd get this for him. I'm about to head home real quick and post a YouTube video. I'm posting a weekly vlog. So if you haven't seen this video on the screen right now, 
make sure you head to my channel and watch it because both youtube and instagram have been throwing bricks at me like my engagement isn't really doing how it was like the last like at the end of last year right now and it's not really making sense to me i feel like my channel is kind of hidden my instagram is kind of hidden i feel like i understand youtube because i think i didn't post for i think three weeks to a month and if you do that and you don't really have like a super super strong supporter base who's always looking for you always liking your videos will miss you when you're gone it's kind of hard to bounce back from that but instagram i feel like i post on instagram but i post the giveaways i don't know if that's the reason i'm talking too much i'm talking too fast but i'm about to go and post that video let me move my seat back where it's supposed to be every second every minute and i swear that she can get again i am at a tj maxx parking lot so let me guys fill you guys in obviously i feel like you can tell my voice is kind of down because i hit my car um i don't know if hit is the right word scraped when i was at home i think i don't know if i told you guys but i went back home after target i went back home after target because i had to upload a youtube video and it was finished and uploaded but one of the song that i had used for my intro had copyright so i had to fix that but when i tried to fix it another plugin that i had in my final cut pro wasn't working so i wasn't able to re-download the new vlog i low-key should have just posted it with copyright i should have just posted it with copyright and just left it at it as is but i kept trying to fix it and it like took me an hour like to finish all that and then i still had to upload the video so by the time i finished correcting what was wrong it was five meanwhile i wanted this video to go up at three or four so it's five now so i uploaded it and i'm like if i sit here and waste time the mall is gonna close at seven like i don't know why the mall closed at seven during the week here like it's so odd i don't know if it was because of covid or if that's just how it always is here i don't know but seven is way too early for a mall to be closing i don't know if that's just lennox because of all the crime I, I don't know but i just basically only had two hours to go to the mall which wasn't really what i wanted and i still had to go get my nails fixed by seven because the nail shop closed at 7 30 then the eyebrow case closed at eight as you guys can see my eyebrows aren't done i'm getting there so i'm now like okay don't be stupid my video has 44 minutes to post let me not just sit here and wait let me go to the mall and try and see if, if i can buy a laptop or something and then come back home and post it so i'm like wait let me just bring my laptop because since the video is already uploading the thumbnail is done i can just take my laptop and connect to wi-fi and just like um add the thumbnail and post from the mall great so i grab my bag i go downstairs to the parking garage in our parking garage the entrance has like pillars i'm gonna post a picture it's like pillars in order to like like get out like you have to do like go through a maze of pillars depending on how you leave and exit the garage and where my car was parked i just chose to exit i just chose to exit from the middle instead of the far right because i normally go that way like if my car is parked in the middle it just makes sense and i'm always super careful like when i'm going through there because it's just weird like your car is, does not move your wheels move but like i have to you have to bend go through a tight bend when obviously your car does not conform that way your wheels do but it's still like narrow i'm going through the first turn and i'm kind of like hey angry like my eyes just did a thing where i'm like is my car good like my eyes kind of like averted it kind of was like i couldn't really see like my eyes did like this kind of thing i don't know and i wear glasses so like i feel like it's it's just weird sometimes and then i turn i'm like okay like i'm just tripping like i always clear this bend i always think i'm gonna hit my car and i don't 
like i just always think my car is bigger than what it is so i'm always extra extra careful like that's why sometimes when i park i leave so much room like to the car next to me but whatever so i clear the first bend and now i'm going left to the second one and i'm like my car is kind of close but i feel like i'm always kind of close so i just go obviously the front of my car passes it and then i just hear in the back like boom uh, i just stop my car and i'm like uh, this cannot be real life i don't know if any of you have ever done something or like i don't know i don't know if cracking a phone is the same type of gives you the same type of heart palpitation as hitting a vehicle but it's just like like because that didn't need to happen it just like hurt my chest and i gotta i'll show you guys the scratches like it's bad but it's like uh, it's it's not as bad as if someone were to hit my car or if i was to hit something head on or back into something but it's like it's bad like i can see that like and like there's like the red stuff on it like because obviously the pillar was brick so like there's like red dust and i touched it and i think that can just come off but the paint of the car is to the metal like to the silver part like that's like because it's brick it wasn't just like a pole that i hid and the brick is jagged and it's not it's just like one scratch it's scratched it, and i haven't cried yet like i've been on the verge of tears like for the past couple of hours just thinking about it because this morning to my hair appointment i think i was running behind like 15 minutes or so and i was like on we just like slow down like even in that bend i'm like it's not worth hitting your car to be late to a hair appointment like if i had to pay a late fee or something like 25 dollars, that's not worth hitting your car over hitting your car you're gonna have to fix that for like um a couple hundred to a few thousand like that's not worth it like if you're late or late you're late if you don't get your hair done you don't get your hair done but i had to post my youtube video which was important and i've just been stressing stressing over my look at it, i can't even talk stressing over my content because like my my engagement like my content like i feel like i've been working on changing stuff doing some more edits and all this kind of stuff but like the engagement isn't there because the algorithm isn't really helping me i was kind of gone for a month and so i feel like people don't know that i'm posting again but there's no way for them to know because like if you don't really like people's videos they won't show up but obviously they don't like it they can't like it because youtube isn't sending them the notifications so i was just thinking about all that and it's like i'm thinking while i'm driving like i go through that bend all the time obviously i live there if you guys know obviously i feel like i could get my car fixed at audi or whatever but they're gonna charge me so much and i'm not gonna like waste going through my insurance on something that i did and it's like i don't want to say i wish i got hit by somebody else but like that like i feel like it could have been more damage or whatever but i would have just paid my insurance deductible of like 500 or do they pay i don't know something but i just wouldn't have had this heavy feeling on my shoulders like it's your fault like if someone else hits you okay like you couldn't avoid that that that's it's their fault like you weren't the cause but me hitting a stupid pillar in a parking garage like that's my fault like the fault is on my head like who else there's nobody else to blame so it's just like i already have anxiety and overthinking everything so it's just like hurting me it's just hurting my chest because i did it and like even my honda i never had anything happen to that car so that's why i'm also really really careful with parking and i have like parking anxiety and i will not park in a spot if it's not easy for me to park in if i can't back into it easily like i can sit there for five to ten minutes trying to park my car because it's not worth hitting my car to just like take my time and park it so that's why i'm like also really mad and i just like wish i could go back in time because it's like i could have gone i i couldn't i don't even i could have gone slower but i was already going like through what three miles per hour under five miles i'm in a parking garage i'm not like zooming out of there i just feel like maybe my mind was everywhere or like i thought i cleared it and i didn't like see well out the the corner of this eye so if you live in atl and you know someone that does like good repair work on like this type of scratches that i showed you or like a car shop that you know is like reputable but they don't like cost an arm and a leg just let me know because i'm trying to get it fixed like i'm about to hop into tj maxx and i find a suitcase to buy i should not let this run my vacation but let's go we still have more to do yeah i'll hit y'all back up when i get to my house so i can show you guys all the things i bought all the stuff i got for vacation at least i got my new mac and i can edit when I travel now. <sighs> Lord Jesus, help me.
all right as you guys can see i am back home now i have to make sure i finish all this water before i go to sleep yeah i got back like two hours ago but i was just posting a little bit on my story and i had to make sure i ate something the last time i ate was at like like four o'clock um after my hair appointment i am really tired i really thought that i would have everything like done by eight well that's what i'd hope and i feel like that would be the case if i never hit my car i don't even want to say hit the word hit is so strong if i never scratched my car um but i asked you guys on instagram what you thought and, um people were telling me it's not that bad so i guess that's good but i have so many things around me you don't even see all the stuff that i have like literally some of the stuff is on the floor but i went to tj maxx and i got two suitcases i knew i wanted a new checked luggage i wanted to try and get another carry-on an expandable one just because i had the oculus and i wasn't sure if the box would fit in the silver one i currently have so i did not do a good job of picking out luggage i picked out a checked luggage that is smaller than the one i currently have and i really wanted that exact size and i made the wrong choice i asked the lady in the store and she told me just like to go with black because like it's gonna get dirty anyway because it's checked and I was like that makes sense and the Jessica Simpson one is really cute so I've never had like a cute black one that looks kind of like a design I'm always going for the plain white and then I got a big pink one and as you guys can see next to my pink one it's kind of like three-fourths the size of it this Jessica Simpson one is not expandable which is really bad for a checked luggage so I have a bunch of stuff to show you guys when i say a bunch so much stuff so just make sure you stay tuned just pop a squat i'm gonna try and speed through this this is not a try on haul so this is gonna be just like a collective vacation haul just to show you guys a bunch of different brands and like places you can shop and just like the items that i got in general that you can buy for vacation so because i was already talking about tj maxx let's just do that real quick also while i was there i picked up a new makeup bag that is so freaking cute you know i usually put my makeup in my check bags i don't know if this is gonna fit in that one but we'll see kind of got the paris theme going on it's just really really girly and cute i was gonna go for a black one but i was like this is just so cute also from pj maxx i got this scarf i don't know why i want to be like i want to act like i'm from overseas so bad i really want to put like a scarf on my head or something <laughs> okay this is not looking like how i thought it probably has to be like a designer scarf but you know when like the women who were shopping kind of wear scarves like the fashionable women like back in the day used to wear scarves and stuff i'm not going to pair this so the next place i was at was the mall and i don't think i told you guys or maybe i did tell you guys that i wanted a new phone but the phone i just felt like it would be too much of a hassle to get today like try and back it up switch to a new phone and like transfer everything like no but i knew i needed a new laptop for sure because my old one is a it's a macbook pro which is so good 2015 but it's out of space and rather than like trying to like declutter everything i was like it's time for a new mac so i have my old mac since 2015 and we're now in wait i was gonna say we're in 2021 wait we're in 2022 so have i had that macbook for six whoa i did not know i had that max so long time goes by so fast i'm getting old <sighs> okay let me stop thinking about that y'all so i opted for to get the new macbook pro they still sell the one with the touchpad but i just that's not even like a good choice because they got rid of the touch the touch bar anyways because some people were having problems with it and those versions you couldn't even put your sd card in you had to buy like an external piece for it kind of just like a hassle all these extra things that you have to buy for it but it turns out that this one like it had everything already in it like it has an sd card reader it still has USB C because it has an m1 chip all the technology is up to date and then it also had an hdmi cord i was so pleasantly surprised that um they changed everything because people were complaining so i'm glad that apple is a brand that listens to its people this is just the box i'm not gonna unbox it on camera the other reason i went to the mall is because i wanted a cute airport outfit i picked up this like cream speckled with gray jumpsuit this is what the material this is what the material looks like it's really stretchy i got this in a size small i feel like i've seen the same jumpsuit in ads from my outfit online i'm not sure um but i just really liked it and i feel like this is going to be a comfortable fit i want to wear this with a cardigan i'm not sure if i have a cardigan the store that i shopped at is called edge and i actually actually only saw it when i came to atl i don't know if they have it many other places i also got this black zip up 
bodysuit and this is just in case i'm just gonna take this on vacation with me just in case i want something regular to lounge in that isn't like vacation clothes or a robe i stopped at bath and body works after that i love my perfumes but i sometimes also like a body spray for when it's like something chill but i do like these for when i go to the gym like body spray so i can just like spray it a lot but i kind of wanted some fruity and like island scents so i just picked up these vacation scents they had them in the front so i just got a body lotion a body spray a hand cream and a body gel i feel like the body gel and the hand cream is especially good just so i can just take this as like my travel stuff but i still will pack a big body lotion because i don't play about my skin after i shower next up is forever 21 this could be used as a makeup bag but i'm gonna use this as my bathroom bag and then i also got a pair of gray socks just to be comfy in i wanted to say for the villa <laughs> so love island of me i actually don't know where we'll be staying because michael booked everything like he literally booked everything i can't wait to tell you guys the story make sure you stay tuned until the actual vacation vlog i think i would just call them thong heels like that's what they call them now basically like slipper heels these are so cute and then i got these fun little earrings and then i also went to whole foods i think i went there last yeah because whole foods closes late i picked up some greens and this is like the energy version I was, uh, this is some melatonin that i bought i did a poll on my instagram and, and a few of you recommended that i try a melatonin pill instead of a gummy because it's gonna have like a higher concentration of the actual melatonin liquid energy shots lime and a strawberry one i got a little mini travel size castle soap and i know you guys see this soap a lot um my boyfriend likes this soap and i figured since i got myself a travel body wash he would appreciate it because that's all the stuff that i bought today so let's move into the online shopping i did so like i said there's stuff behind me and some stuff on the floor you guys can't even see yeah i've definitely spent like around two to three thousand um shopping for everything i also feel like i spent that much because um i'm also like an indecisive person so i kind of was buying like more than i needed in case i don't like something the marvin jacobs tote this is how it comes packaged guys so i opted to get the canvas tote this one also has like black lining on the sides as well which i really liked i felt like it just stood out to me i am actually so excited for this this is so cute the bag is actually really really sturdy which is good and then it comes with this strap but i like this this is a decent size but it's not huge um people said online that the macbook or the mac like 13 inch can fit in here but the new one i just purchased is a 14 inch not the 13 inch so we will see and i'm gonna tell you guys whether i, I bought something or it's gifted if i don't say it, it's gifted that means i bought it this is the first gifted item that i got it is this long open back dress so it's gonna be a maxi on me and this is from milani the label i absolutely cannot wait to wear this i'm gonna post what it looks like on the screen this is the christina gown in the color aqua it's that one stretchy material that i told you guys that i really liked i actually love their brand because their dresses like you can tie them a bunch of ways and their dresses are just so sultry and sexy and i was like my anniversary out of the country like their dresses are giving that i actually saw them on tiktok and i was like that dress looks so cute i feel like i can rock it and i dm them told them i was going on vacation and if they would like to collab and they said yes yeah. so never be afraid to ask brands to um collab i do that if i know like i'm, I'm going to wear something already instead of just like me purchasing it like sometimes i do like purchase things on my own but like instead of me purchasing it i'm doing like a collab that i know would benefit the both of us why not i guess from boohoo i only got bags probably because i shopped there like almost second to last so i had got all the clothing that i had needed but i was looking for this bag and it's so freaking cute they had it for an affordable price out of all the places that i looked at i think this was only 20 something dollars on boohoo but some sites sell it for like 40 something wooden or a basket bag is like a must-have for vacation i got this like woven print bag which is so cute i forget what this bag is a dupe of but i felt like this cream was gonna go really nice with all of my looks just because it's kind of like a nude actually i don't know if you guys can see it but there's like a splice 
a slice in it but i don't know if i did that and then the last bag i picked up is this little mini orange grab bag and this is just to have pop of color in my looks i just unpackaged everything and i literally got so many things from plt if you use their app or something you could get like 50 percent off instead of like the 40 percent off that you'd get on the website i had to keep telling myself to slow down like girl you work with plt relax like you can get um some of this for free in your next haul but i really wanted it for this vacation but stuff really does add up like i just kept throwing stuff in my cart because like a lot of their stuff was on sale like first thing i got is um this three-piece set so it's a bikini i don't know if you guys can see the material through the screen velvety and it's a little bit like reflective and this is the thong i got it in the us too man i should have got the bottoms in a zero and then i've also purchased the matching sarong and i feel like you need to have at least one like three piece look at least because i just feel like they look so nice and then all you have to worry about is like your shoes accessories in your bag i got this olive green bikini and these bottoms look a little bit tinier this one is a thong so this one i wouldn't really wear around people depending on what kind of beach but it's a halter top one but i just realized you can pull off the string and make it a bandeau bikini top which is so fab this is a sage front tie top just to pair with different bottoms and the material is actually like stretchy and like bouncy they're calling it um beach shirt but i it looks like a dress on the model i'm pretty sure so i got this to wear as a like little mini dress so i'm actually glad this looks kind of short and that's my kind of vibe i picked out another bikini and this is one of my more fun ones oh i actually like how this is this is a size zero and i feel like this is gonna fit me well well at least this part is oh this feels so nice oh my god i'm so glad i sized down in it i picked out this super pretty white dress i can remember it exactly Exactly. And it just looks so fab on the model like this white on vacation is going to look so good especially like if you oil your skin well you can do a pose with the leg out um i picked out this top because i just thought it was so cute i really like the cut of it like the cut just screams vacation to me because tiny it is this is so stretchy you can wear it off the shoulder on your shoulder you can do a lot with it and um this is definitely probably for one of your like colder nights on vacation i picked out this like long big brown skirt the material is just really light it kind of feels like a light bed sheet but it's a little bit like see-through and i kind of want to see what kind of looks like i can pull off with this and i don't know if my pinterest is open but i compile a lot of stuff on pinterest you guys can i don't know if you can follow someone on pinterest but maybe you can go see my vacation inspo if you still like want more after this i picked up these kind of like i would say zebra printed ish it's like i feel like that's what the lines look like but it's all white so it's all squirrely the material is stretchy long ways but sideways it does not stretch now i guess i need to work on how i online shop and check in my cart i guess i bought two of the same thing i hope i didn't i hope they just put the extra in there on purpose because i did not want to buy two of the same thing i could have saved some of my coin i also got a pair of sunglasses i don't even find myself wearing sunglasses but i'm always picking them out because they're so cute but i feel like i just look weird in sunglasses i don't know if it's because like i have a bug head or what but i feel like i just look weird in sunglasses so next i picked out a few things from asos they are a uk brand as well i picked out some white linen shorts and i'm actually glad they're thin because it's gonna be hot i got these in a the us too and they're gonna fit me exactly how i want them to i was kind of scared they were going to be long but they look like about the appropriate length i got them to pair with front tie t-shirts my tie t-shirts and swimsuit tops just some bottoms that i can just throw on in it i also picked out this, like a floppy hat that kind of screams like beach low-key i don't really know if i'm dressing for the place i'm going to because i feel like people mostly just wear swim okay this is definitely giving um wife from the parent trap this is not the vibe that i really wanted um i also picked out these white flats right here they're kind of look like an hermes dupe but like not really like i feel like you you can see where they were going with it i don't know i feel like i don't know maybe they're giving me auntie in real life i wanted some really pretty diamond heels to wear with whatever my anniversary dress will be and these were so stunning i've been trying to get these kinds of shoes for forever not this exactly but you know 
the bow and the diamond these are actually a public desire heel but they are sold on asos so asos i guess like they sell other brands as well so that's what i got from asos so now i'm showing you what i got from fashion nova i went crazy on this site as well so first up is this crochet bikini and these are the matching bottoms and one thing that i really like about fashion nova is that like some of their stuff you can buy it in a set stuff that like clearly matches and you wouldn't like really like pair it with anything else necessarily and this is actually surprisingly stretchy like i was afraid that it was just going to be rigid this is giving me kind of like jamaica vibes i i didn't really get it to wear on the vacation i'm going on now i picked out like this big giant like house on the prairie dress but like if i just want to be at the house like if i'm like cleaning up the like place that we're in i'm just chilling like maybe me and michael like will watch a movie or something of course it's my anniversary so i had to pick out you know a little something risque it's this like blue little like negligee i'm not sure if it's like a nightgown kind of thing but i'm gonna wear it as a little slip nightgown and the blue is really pretty like i'm glad it's like a true baby blue because that's gonna look really good on my skin tone i picked up these fluffy sides i'm actually gonna save these for home i got this big bitty bop t-shirt and this was in a size medium i think and it's actually really really um good and oversized but i bought it to like have it as like a sleep shirt i picked out this matching pajama set right here in a size extra small i really wanted it to fit me fitted i got this pink pajama set right here yeah so this is like a satin set so i wanted something like really girly as well i um i picked out this orange like skirt right here i can't wait to try and like do a vacation look with this i'm glad it has a drawstring because the waist is really big the only thing is the material kind of looked like netting almost online and like shiny and iridescent but the material in person is yarn i got another jumpsuit i got a size small this time instead of extra small just so i can have more room in it another sarong and this is just a blue netted material and i just know this is gonna be so pretty i was supposed to wear this with this freaking bikini right here the white bando white lace up heels like that would have been such a look and what did fashion Nova do they said not when i placed my order but two days later they said was not that item was not in your cart and we have to like refund you like it's good that they refunded me but i wish i would have known earlier so i could pick out another white bandeau bikini i also picked out another three-piece set but um this is like an orange zebra print going on but i mainly picked it out for the bikini bottoms because i wanted to put it under this in a regular nude bikini from them just really stringy and i actually like this it's really like thin straps as you can see just to have something like a little more risque for the days that i just don't feel like doing anything i'll just throw that on i picked up these black flip flops i wanted some really nice flops that were really more sturdy they're still a basic flip flop but like upgraded from like you know like the two dollar ones ones you can get at dollar tree these were the other slides i was telling you about i feel like these look more like a dupe than the white ones i showed you from asos i feel like this is more of the shoe that i've been seeing i wish they had this in white but they didn't i am absolutely in love with this bag i'm not sure if they had another color i think they did but it was gonna take too long to arrive so it's just a black crochet tote and i just really like it just really screams vacation this to me is kind of like a beach bag you're running an errand to the store on vacation you're going to like a beach club i bought me and my boyfriend um the travel blanket i also got packing cubes i mentioned these to you guys before and they actually do help to keep your suitcase organized next i have some gifted shoes from simi i actually love simi so much if you guys follow me on instagram you know i work with them a lot oh these are absolutely so freaking cute i picked out these this green pair of heels right here and they have a gold bottom these are so adorable oh i'm glad they sent me these i forgot i asked for these i have been seeing people wearing them on tiktok i've seen them on the simi website and i'm like why not finally try these out this is my sephora box and i only got two lip glosses but i got the dior attic lip glosses these are actually called lip maximizers and i actually did a poll for these and i asked you guys what colors would work well for dark skin tones oh these are so beautiful i feel like these lip glosses were 30 dollars each which is like extremely pricey for a lip gloss but you know it's 
it's Dior, but I feel like these are so pretty. 013 and 012, I'm pretty sure what they're like raspberry and rosewood, I believe. And I was supposed to get a package from Beginning Boutique, but it's not here yet. Another website that I was shopping was GT Online. I hope that's how you say it, and you guys recommended that to me, as well as Matte Brand. They had some nice pieces too. And if I think of any more, they'll be on the screen right here. I hope you guys like this collective haul. I hope it was helpful. I don't know, I hope it was just cool to see like all the stuff that I bought for vacation. Literally, the mess in front of me is insane. I've been talking for so long. I'm so glad this vlog is coming to a close. I really wanted to show you guys my workout that I wanted to do before I leave, but obviously I can't even work out. I don't even know what this vlog was, but I hope you guys liked some of it at least and liked a little bit of insight into my life. Yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned for my Bali vacation vlog. So excited. I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm so tired. Just stay tuned to see how it goes. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. Please, please bear with me. Stay tuned. My engagement is faulty but I'm not gonna leave you guys hopefully you guys don't leave me and we're gonna keep rocking out for as long as I can do this YouTube thing but I catch y'all when I catch y'all like this vlog is too long I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys she like on palm the age fuck up the whip with the fuck up range me and them niggas in the same sap on make it rain make it rain I might lose my face but I go keep the cool cause they know my face I heard a big boy name, but it's this She lacking on the bomb, man